Hey guys, welcome to Main Vein Games. It's Blue, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to peek around corners properly in Counter Strike Global Offensive. So, this is going to be a weekly show that I do each Tuesday where I'm going to give you a basic tip um, in Counter Strike Global Offensive. So, if you're new to the game and you're looking to get better, this might be a show that will help you out. However, if you've been playing the game for a while, a lot of this information won't be that new for you, but you could watch it anyways. And you could subscribe if you want because we'll definitely be making more Counter-Strike Global Offensive content uh, other than this. Plus we make content from other games, but that's enough. Shameless plugging. Uh, anyways, we are going to get into the tip, which is how to properly peek around corners in CSGO. Okay, so to start it off, we are in Dust2 at Long A here. And I'm first going to show you what not to do when peeking corners because I do see a lot of people doing this when I'm playing classic competitive and whatnot. So uh, they'll peek the corner like this or, you know, like that. And that's not something you want to do because you instantly put yourself at a disadvantage by doing this. Because as you can see, my crosshair is near the ground here. Uh, however, the counter terrorist will probably be somewhere around here. Um, just peeking it like this, maybe with an op, who knows. But um, he is probably going to be here. He might play somewhere else, but um, when you're peeking this corner, that's your main concern, that person right there. So what you're going to do is put the crosshair where you think he'll be before you come around the corner. So right here, I have my crosshair kind of about head height. And so if I go around the corner, I'm instantly on him with my crosshair. So I could do that, and that could be a headshot kill right there. So as you can see, the bullets land around here, and if he's standing here, those are direct hits, so he might not die, but you'll definitely scare him a bit. Uh, it is nice to get that first pick, though, um, when you peek around this corner, so that's why you kind of aim for the head. Um, you get that headshot right off the bat before he can do anything about it. Uh, depending on their reaction time, it might not always work, but it definitely gives you the best chance to get the kill. So this goes for other spots as well, including Cat. Um, there's three common spots they'll play on Cat, which could be here. Um, just sitting like this, waiting for you to come. Or even peeking from here, so they just have that small angle. Or they could even stay in this corner and wait for you to run across. So what you're going to do is check all three of these places by peeking it like this. So what I do is usually peek this one first. Uh, that was a bad shot because I was running, but uh, peek that one first. Then uh, if he is in one of these areas, he won't be able to shoot you by you just peeking like this. And then secondly, you can move there, get the shot here, so like that. And then if he's not in either of those places, you can peek here. And so he never will have an angle on you other than the spot you're checking. Uh, of course, there's always mid that could get you from the back, but that's why you want to throw smoke there. Um, so just quickly check all three spots. If he's not there, then he could be right here as well. You want to check that. Uh, he could be anywhere really, but um, you just want to put yourself in the best position, as I said earlier. And this rule also applies to the op because it's very hard to readjust your shot, especially when you're scoped in. So you're going to want to aim where you think they'll be. Anyways guys, that's it for this week's episode of Tip Tuesday, so let me know what you thought of this show in the comments section below. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate some feedback. Uh, anyways, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.